Excel is the ability to combine different Excel functions. So we're going to show you a problem here where you need to know text functions, you need to know if statements, and you need to know the mod function. So remember the mod function, you say mod 18, 7. You get the remainder when you divide 18 by 7, which is 4. And then a number would be divisible by 7 if the remainder with the mod function yields a 0 when you divide by 7. Okay, so let's try the following problem. This isn't quite how American Express Traveler's checks work. Okay, I think you have to be divisible by 9. But let's suppose you have a check number that looks like this. So often credit card numbers or checks will have, check numbers will have a check digit to avoid common errors. Let's suppose that basically our checks will pass the check test if the sum of everything before the hyphen the sum of all the digits in the number are divisible, is divisible evenly by 7. Okay, so we have a bunch of checks here. Okay, 500 or so. We want to know which of these are past the check test. Okay. In other words, are the sum of the digits divisible by 7? So what, need to, what we need to do is parse these numbers, okay, and get each digit and then add them up and see if that's divisible by 7. If so, we'd say we pass, otherwise we fail the test. Okay, for example, the first number, 28, 32, they add up to 35, those digits, so that would pass the test. 24, 26, and 10, 36 is not divisible by 7. That wouldn't pass the test. Okay, so how can I find the first number? Well, we can use the mid function. There'll be something wrong with this, but I'll fix it in a second. We want to say mid that number. Okay, now we're going to have to fix the column J. And we would start at the first digit and go 1. That would be OK. But a better way to do that would be, say, I'll start here, dollar sign the 11, and, and do it at 1. Because then I could copy that across and get a 2, get a 3, and always take one digit. That way I could get the first digit. I could have used the left function here, but this works fine. Now, the problem is that's not a number. OK, it's left justified. But we know we can do a value function. So we can go like this, OK? So now if I copy that across, let's just check that we get all the digits, except the last one will be a little bit different. Because one, OK, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, it's going to be the 11th number, or right comma 1 will be the last number. OK. Now see, that one didn't work, OK? So there's eight numbers, OK? And so if I just copy this across, trying to get the ninth character, okay, you can't do a value because it's a hyphen. Okay, so what I need to do is change that to simply a right in that cell, comma 1, and I'll need the value in front of that. Again, if I don't do the value, it's not a number. So I can do a value, and I hope that will work. Okay, now I can add these all up. That's 35, I hope. Okay, now if I drag this down and copy it, select them all, double click the left mouse, and it copies down. Okay, so I've used the text functions here. Okay, and I want to use the mod function with an if statement now. So I'd say if mod that sum comma 7 equals 0. And let's say we pass the check test, put that in quotes. Otherwise, we fail the check test. OK, so now I think we've got the right parentheses there. OK, so that says pass. And if I double click and copy that down, see, that's fail, that's pass. Whenever the sum column is divisible by 7, I get a pass. Otherwise, I get a fail. So that's a very powerful application, again, of the if statement, the mod function, and the text functions. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book which is here. And with that one, you can see it's 
four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, four point eight. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free twenty one day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.